Hey guys, welcome to Real GPL. First of all, thank you very much for being our valued customer. Today, we are going to talk about a very good theme. The theme name is Doctorate. So let me search for it here. So after searching it, you know, I'm going to open this. And the very first thing that we have to do, like we have to download it. So I'm clicking on download Doctorate theme. This option is only available for uh, the people who have joined membership. Otherwise, if you want to download, you can download it from, you know, go to dashboard or go to just download section. And from there, you can download it if you have bought it already. So once downloaded, we have to unzip it and then we have to install it to our WordPress. And then we'll talk about the further things. So while it is getting downloaded, I would like to say one thing that if you have not joined our membership plans, you must join it because after joining that you will be having access to all our products and that too in a very, very limited cost. Like you can see the starter plan, which cost you around $7 and in which you can download 10 products per day. So in a month you can download up to 300 products. And it follows like in Super Saver, this is available for six months. In VIP, it's for like uh, one year. And in case of lifetime, you can download 20 products per day and that too for a lifetime. No extra cost, no renewal cost, just one time pay and use it. And other than that, we're also offering lifetime deals in which you will be getting like original lifetime licenses and that too for a lifetime in a very, very low cost. So you must check it out. We have given the link of this in the description. Now let's go back. Uh, to our WordPress so first of all let me go to the folder and then first of all I am going to unzip it after unzipping it we will get a folder yes that is doctorate inside that we have another folder inside that we can see like we have different things here so we have the parent theme we have child theme we have documentation templates plugins and all inside plugins you see like we are having many plugins yeah, we have Doctorate Core and Doctorate, Doctorate Crone. So let me go to my WordPress. Let me click on themes, then click on add new, then click on upload theme, click on choose file and select the Doctorate parent theme first. So I'm going to the folder and I'm selecting the parent theme. Click on open, click on install now. Once the parent theme is installed, we have to install the child theme so in general if child theme is available we should not activate the parent theme we should always activate the child theme it helps uh, in, in a lot of things which you can find it online but in general in gpl case um, if an update comes we have to do it manually so child theme is very good for that so that you can see like the theme is getting installed so once installed, just click on themes again. Okay, don't activate, just click on themes again. Then click on add new. Click on upload theme. Select the doctor child. Yeah, then click on open, click on install now. Once installed, just activate it. Once activated, we have to install the required plugin. So select each and everything and then choose install, then click on apply. Once all these plugins are installed, we have to activate it. They are total 10 in number. So rather than waiting, I can do one thing. I can go to my folder and from here, I can unzip the plugin, you know, zip as well. So it is done and we have, we have got uh, Two plugins here so let me go back and see like if everything done yeah almost done so all the required plugins are now installed click on install plugin again then select each and everything and then choose activate and then click on apply to activate all the required plugins once activated just click on dashboard to get all the settings and all when I clicked on dashboard, I am getting an option to install backup and demo content plugin. So just click on yes, install this extension. Okay, so downloading and done. So activating also done. Now just click on dashboard once again. 
and we have to see like the option to import backup which might come under appearance or tools no in tools yes we can see we have option called demo content install so click on that now we are having only one demo that says doctorate main so click on install then click on ok and now you have to wait until the demo is getting installed so you can see the progress here we are currently installing your content and the current process is file export so you know while it is getting uh, installed I would like I'd like to say one thing and that is in some cases you know you, you might have to uh, manually upload these two plugins if the demo content is not getting installed then then only if it is getting installed without the, without the help of this manual installation then it's well and good otherwise just go and install these two plugins uh, manually and then you can try the demo process so friends it's been around four minutes already and i can see that the demo installation is still in progress because here we have to like uh, restore 285 images and it takes time out of that 239 is already completed so it might take up to five to six minutes and please make sure you are having the right php configuration in which memory should be 256 megabyte and plus the execution time should be 300 and input var should be more than 3000 other than that if you want you can also check like post max size and and uh, you know like uh, uh, upload max size that should also be like more than 64 megabytes so it is almost finished we have to wait a bit more here yeah so 279 images are processed already 284 done i think uh, yes the demo is properly installed now it is uh, letting me go to the um, home page which looks quite cool okay yeah so demo is properly imported uh, the header section looks a bit not accurate that is not an, not an issue because in that case you might have to set your uh, menu once again that you can do like directly going to uh, dashboard then followed by appearance and then go to menu okay and from here you can set the menu once again let me see uh, one important setting here from here if i go to settings and then if i go to the reading setting so yeah the home page is correctly correctly you know not defined we can also change it from here like second one and if i save it it gives us a different uh, look for the home page so let me open it in a new tab to say if the home page yeah the home page design is properly changed so that's it we are good to go just the menu is not coming properly that we have to set it uh, uh, by itself so thank you very much for being with me i would love, love to see you again in the next one till then enjoy your day bye bye